Hi, I'm Victoria, a licensed esthetician and business owner of Skin By You in Queen Creek, Arizona. And this is my business partner and husband, Chris. And today we are going to just talk about how real our last two days have been. It has been so emotionally draining, to be honest. We are so tired. So we just wanted to kind of open up about that. Um, we shot a podcast last night and in the middle of our second one, our baby started crying. And honestly, I feel like we're on a ticking time bomb with her. So um, today we're just gonna talk about um, life and what we're up to in the business. Yeah, so last um, episode we called it whining down. But as you guys can see in this episode, there's no wine. We're dropping down today. So we're lemon dropping down. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to talk a little about life. And then, yeah, we'll always jump into some business yeah. from there. But yeah, so I, I, I mean, uh, I think the best way to start for you is how business affects your personal life and things like the baby coming home and her not sleeping or us going to do these things, like yeah. how it affects you. Yeah, I mean, I think that like something that I struggle with personally is comparing myself to other estheticians. Mm. Um, I feel like there's a lot of like estheticians that don't have kids or don't have a family and they can post all day, every day and they can post. I mean, it's just so much easier for them and like not making excuse. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> not making excuses for myself, but it is like a whole different world when you're married and you have kids. When it multiple comes, kids, yeah, <laughs> like not just one. Like I feel like if, um, like for instance, let's say somebody who doesn't have kids, they can literally like freely film a podcast, like what we're trying to do. And yeah. tonight and last night, it just was literally impossible. Like yeah. if I were to drag the baby out of her crib right now, she would wake back up and. We would go through a whole spiral just for me to film a podcast. So yeah, yeah. and um, it's now ten o'clock at night, and we yeah. just started filming. And like so, we're yeah. married, there's like real life problems and real life conversations to have, and yeah, it's just a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. I think the comparison, I think, is a really important thing to think about everybody in every situation. Because I mean, we look at other people about how often they post on social media and go oh, you know, I wish we could post as much as them. And then you go, oh, well, they don't understand. But then there's also people looking at you yeah. and going, I just wish she could post. I mean, I wish I could post as much as her, but she doesn't understand. Yeah. So I think the comparison thing is, is really important in every aspect. I mean, we try to be, you know, as open as we can. I mean, I shoot and edit all of Victoria's um, at least all the professional content on social media. Victoria posts everything. So Victoria's the one who's actually going and editing for the most part, like if she's adding text over them and she's doing all the captions and then when we're posting. Yeah, like so she's, editing yeah. clips together. Yep, so she's doing all that. But I mean, even on that note, I mean, people reach out to us all the time and go like, okay, what do you shoot with? What are you doing? Because they think Victoria's by herself. And then when she goes, oh, I have a videographer and he uses this camera, it's easy for other people to go, oh, well, I could never get that. I could never have. I mean, we're very fortunate that we're a husband and wife duo. So I think the comparison is just important for everybody to realize that it's no just- No matter what situation you're in, no matter what circumstances that you're built with, that there is like a solution for it. There is a solution and there's a, I mean, you don't, the main thing, you know, and it's even when it comes to like branding and your socials, everything is you don't need to be like everybody else. Yeah. You know, people look at us and go, I want to do what they do. Like, and they go and maybe hire a videographer and have a content day and, and put out yeah. a bunch of content from one content day. But what makes us specifically us and different is that we can do that consistently. Yeah. But then also, like Victoria just said, if we compare ourselves to maybe somebody else on Instagram who can post 20 stories a day who yes. maybe doesn't have kids or are just in a different position even if they do have kids than us yeah. we compare ourselves to them too and comparison and, is the thief of joy yeah and, and i think that's important for everybody at every level to look at each other and go hey we're we're all different and unique in our own yeah. ways and really and we tell people this all the time i think the best strategy for you 
is what you can do consistently that fits in your lifestyle. Yes. So the reason why our content strategy works for us is because it fits for us in our lifestyle. Because we can, it's hard, yeah. <laughs> but we can do this, right? Um, it does take the weight off Victoria's shoulders that I can at least film the content and all she has to do is cut it up. Right, because of the two kids and, and oh the business gosh, and everything. But it's so well, much more than that. Oh, you like, said, oh my gosh, I thought there was something. I was like, there a no, ghost over I'm there? Just saying, the like, way you said, oh my like, gosh. <laughs> sorry, I'm just thinking about like all the times that we've had to like schedule a babysitter or like we don't have family in town and it's like, it's not easy. Like our situation is so, like, and that's what it comes back to. Like that's what I'm trying to cir circle back to is like I'm not hot, trying to have like a pity party for us, but like, Every scenario is so unique and you just have to make the best of what you got because at the end of the day, you can make all the excuses in the world, mm -hmm. but like we do not, I mean, as when you have a family and when you have kids, it just makes things so much harder to yeah. be honest. Um, and let's circle back to that's why we're here tonight. Yeah. That's why we are showing up and trying to, yeah. you know, as hard as it just was be to real and authentic. PM. And yeah. I cannot believe like I... I didn't even like touch on my makeup. I didn't like, I, I'm just, I'm tired tonight. Like it's just a lot, right? Yeah. And, and we're just going to show up either way. I, I mean, this is uh, one of the things that we're working on ourselves yeah. is that we want to show be up. Yeah. We want to show up the way other people show up. Right. So not our only, are we, you know, we're not comparing ourselves to others, but we're also raising our bar, our, our bar higher because other people do it. And we go, you know what? Let's stop making excuses for ourselves. You know, other people shoot podcasts and they have difficult situations. And I'm and sure they have kids too. <laughs> yeah, all the things that are against them. And, and, you know, just like us comparing or people comparing themselves to the situation that we're in, we don't want to make those excuses. We want to show up. Same thing with the Instagram stories. And, you know, Victoria's saying it's really, really difficult and it's really hard. Yes, it, it is going to be and it's going to stay that way. But it doesn't mean that we don't get up every morning and try to do better. And we try to take small steps. And we also give ourselves grace. I think it's super, yeah. super important too of understanding our season and our life and the situation yeah. and going, hey, we don't need to be what everybody else is, is yeah. being. We need to be what we, you know, what we know we need to be. Yeah, right? and I think when you show up and you're authentic and just show like the realness of you, I mean, the amount of, messages that we've gotten of like how do you do what you do is like super inspiring and like even just comparing that to like yourself I'm sure there's so many estheticians that like other people reach out to them and like people are inspired by you like I think that's something to like be proud of is yeah. no matter like if you have professional or you have iPhone like no matter what you do and if you show up just like appreciate what you do appreciate like the sacrifice that you take to of get course, there yeah. um and it's just I think like tonight, honestly, is one thing that I really wanted to focus on was just like the realness of like hardship and that everything isn't perfect on Instagram. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, you know, the things that we do and the things that we share, yeah. it's not always rainbows and butterflies. Yeah. And I think that's what like another point is, is that we've been trying to do better is like show up and be authentic. Yeah try to bring realness into your life and, and this people podcast will is like trying to show that right now yeah currently right like yeah you're also trying to show this in this moment of us not wanting to film and maybe going like i don't know you know like we, yeah. we there's a million excuses to not shoot tonight and go oh, we should probably get to bed a little early tonight like i just yeah you have clients tomorrow right but you know, one of the things that we're personally trying to work on and it's you know the comparison can also be an inspiration yeah so we compare ourselves to other estheticians and other professionals because we look at you know multiple business landscapes and we don't just you know compare in a negative way but we're inspired by them we're inspired by other people like, that are business owners it? with kids and are getting yeah. up and doing it yeah and that's what puts us in this position right now to mm -hmm. do it right but i think that's like another good point though is like you don't know anybody's like circumstances you don't know you don't know the sacrifice that each person is taking to get to where yep. they are right now so yep. like if you see somebody that is like dedicating a hundred percent to their business, like you don't always have to copy them because they might not be spending time with their family for instance. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I mean, I think it's just so important to do what's best for your lifestyle. Of like course, yeah. of course everything's gonna take sacrifices and everything's gonna like take a balance, but yeah. like don't compare yourself and don't like think you have to be exactly like somebody to like 
to equal out to, to your own success. Yeah. Um, so I think that's just like a really important point. Yeah. Like I as think far setting as, standards for yourself that makes sense to yeah. you, right? I mean, and you want to always reach above. Yeah. And but. there is like a lot of young estheticians in this space. And I think that's so important to like keep yourself like grounded, nothing against anybody by any means, but I mean, we're almost 30 now. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, we're almost 30 now. And I think that we've just realized a lot that there are a lot of young people in the space and please do not compare yourself to anybody else. Yeah. There's like, that's just so important. Yeah. I mean, even compare, like if you're watching this right now and comparing yourselves to us, I mean, we're in a different position. We've been doing this for a lot longer. Yeah. I mean, people look at like, they say, oh, I mean, Victoria's literally heard people say, well, it's different for you. Your husband's a videographer and photographer. Like, lucky you, not everybody can be like you. But it's like, we've spent all the money we have on equipment to do this. And like, I've been learning this from, you yeah. know, 20 years old to figure this out. We didn't and have anything handed to yeah, us. Yeah, there's been so much struggle and there's been so many no mistakes. Us. And yeah, yeah. It's, so it's just to, to look at us and go, oh, well you, it's different for you. And it's like, well, yeah. if you do our life, like we're, str like, I mean, not, yeah. you know, not we're struggling, but we've struggled and we still are figuring yeah. things out on a daily basis. So I think even comparing to us, is still like a, like Victoria said, if you're a young esthetician, just be who you are, you know, figure your life out. I mean, set Show high goals for yourself. Show up in the best way that you yep. can yep. as a person. Just like let your personality for shine. Sure. Yep. And I think that's why like, I've seen like some estheticians grow from just being yeah. like showing up and like yeah. being relatable and showing who yeah. you are and you don't always have to have the, yep. yeah. And I think setting high goals for yourself with that is, yeah. is great. So it's okay to look at other people for inspiration. It's just yeah. the comparison to go, it's well, I could never do what joy. they what they do, right? So yeah, like you said, show up, hit it hard. But then also, you know, like I said, I mean, set high goals for yourself. Yeah. Don't don't also don't say, oh, well, I couldn't do what they do because they have this and that and I only have this or that. It's like, oh, set well, those they have a goals. professional camera. Yeah. It's like, no, you could literally right now be shooting with an iPhone and doing exactly what we're doing. Like, yeah. I mean, 30 people are viewing this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah, did it to every, we're only getting like, like 20 views. Yeah. Like, that on some of these podcasts, like, come so. on, like just show up the way, the best way that you yeah, can, you exactly. know, and to, like make goals to get to where you want to be. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. but I think that's like the biggest thing. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add for today's episode mm. or one thing I want to add is you haven't took one sip of your lemon drop the whole time we've we've shot so if you could okay, just at one least take one drink yeah one fun fact about me is that i love lemon drop martinis that's my thing lately so um we actually got these it doesn't seem like you love a, them because you we got drank these at the a podcast. local shop in gilbert and they're so pretty but let's just cheers oh, let's okay. cheers to the end of the episode i'll finally take a drink just for you but cheers but thank you so much for joining today's episode um, if you have any questions, please be sure to drop them in the comment section. But if you are new to this channel or have been a fan, make sure you like, comment, su subscribe. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time.